In this video, you will learn about functions such as rank, dense rank and percent rank. These functions are useful when we need to make aggregate operations in a specific window frame on a data frame column. Let's import Spark session from PySpark.SQL import Spark session. Let's also import functions import PySpark.SQL dot functions as f we will also import the window function from pyspark dot sql import window let's create the spark session i'll make a spark session here i'll call this class spark session dot builder dot get or create Let's execute our code. I am going to read a CSV file and save in a variable df. I'll call this spark session spark.read.csv. Inside this, I will pass my CSV file name. It is emp.csv. I'll pass two parameters info schema is equal to true. This will give us the column types, and the next parameter is header is equal to true. This will give us the column names. To look at our data frame, we will use the method show. I will write df.show. Here in the output, you can see we got the data frame here. We have columns such as year, department and salary. To perform an operation on a group, first we need to partition the data using window partition by. And for using rank function, we need to additionally order by on partition data using the order by column. Let's see rank function. Rank window function is used to provide a rank to the result within a window partition. This function learns, uh, this function leaves gap in rank where there are ties. For example, if two rows have similar result, it will give same rank and skip the next number. Let us understand this with an example. First, I'll make the window, window spec where I will define the partition by and the order by column. I will write window spec and then I will call the function window dot partition by. We are going to partition by the uh, partition by this data frame, the column department. And then we will order by this salary, order by salary. And we have saved this in this variable window spec. We have this column year department salary. We are partitioning by this department column and then ordering by salary. We will get the minimum salary at the first rank and the maximum at the last that is in the ascending order. Let's apply the rank function. I will call df dot with column. I'll make a new column rank and then I will call the function f dot rank. And then I will apply this function over this window partition by that is this window spec dot show. And here in the output, you will see the result. And here you will see for this sales uh, department sales, we have two similar salary. Uh, this was this is for the year 2015 and 2016. So we got the rank as one. And the next also we got the rank as one, one because uh, both the salary are same. That is why we got the rank one. And after this, you will see we got uh, it has left a blank space. That is, it has not counted two. It has given the number three. It has skipped that number two. When you are using a rank function, uh, whenever there is a tie, it will give the same number here. You will see we have a tie here or both the salaries are same that is why we got the rank here one but it has skipped the next number that is the number two and we directly got the number three here this is what the rank function does and now we will see the dense rank in dense rank you will see that instead of three you will get two here so dense rank will not leave a gap here after one it will give the number second as uh, here you will get the number two instead of directly getting three let's get the dense rank and understand the difference between the two i will write df dot with column 
dense rank then I will call the function f dot dense rank over this window spec dot show and now you will see the difference between the two and here in the output you can see there is a tie we got the rank as 1 then for the 2014 we got the rank as 2 and then we got the rank as 3 and if you see here in rank function first we got 1 and then we directly got 3 there is no second rank so whenever there is a tie it will skip the next rank and jump to the uh, the next one that is the third one but here if you use the dense rank you will get the same number if there is a tie and for the next result you will get the rank in the order that is from 1 to up to the number of rows you have it will not skip any number but rank function will skip the next number here I hope you understood the difference between the rank and dense rank now and the last function is the percent rank this ranks result based on percent if two rows have same result then it will be 0% and let's see with uh, let's see this with an example I will write df dot with column I'll make a new column percent rank and then I will call this function f dot percent rank over this window partition y spec window spec dot show and here in the output you can see we got result because these two have a tie that is why we got zero here and for the other values we got the percentage in rank and since we have arranged this in ascending order lowest value will get the least rank uh, that is uh, 0 0.1 to 5 percent then highest value will get the highest rank 1.0.18 and so on and the last value the highest will get the one that is the hundred percent here you will see one it started from 0, 0.0 and it ended up at one that is the last value for this sales department because we have partitioned it by department the rank function all this rank function will work department wise in this sales department it will start with zero and go up to one and here also rank this will start with sales department and then go here and for the HR department it will start again it got a same number here that is why it got one then two and so on this is how you can uh, use the rank dense rank and percent rank in PySpark if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching